Welcome back to week four of our uh, Aspire PE lessons. This week we've got a different workout for you um, with 20 seconds rest in between each exercise with most of the exercises are numbered so if we don't do it for a time we're going to do it for a physical value. But before we get started we're going to follow the same warm up that we normally follow. So it's going to be 30 seconds of star jumps followed by 30 seconds jogging on the spot with 30 seconds of high knees. So, Mr. Brown and Mr. Jardine are going to start now. We'll start the timer for the first one of star jumps. While Mr. Brown and Mr. Jardine are warming up, uh, we've got four questions. We're not going to go through them all now, but we're looking at the effects of exercise on the body. So, that's going to be short term, long term. Um, and we'll have four questions for you, and you'll be able to fill them in on the Google Sheet show that you've completed the workout and answer the questions. Got five seconds left and then we're moving into jogging on the spot. So jogging onto the spot now. Have a look at the technique there. Mr. Brown's doing a, a normal jog there, with Mr. Jardine doing the low knees. Got ten seconds left. I'm going to change into really high knees now to get the heart pumping the blood round quicker. So high knees. Increase our heart rate now, get the oxygen flowing around. Good, keep going. We've got 15 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And now Mr. Brown and Mr. Jardine are going to do some stretches if they need to stretch off, shake off. And then we're going to get into our main exercises for today. So today we're looking at ten tuck jumps, followed by fifteen calf raises, ten jumping jacks, twenty press ups, twenty half sit ups. And then you can repeat that as many times as you like, and then you'll finish on a 30 second plank. So we'll start now with the tuck jumps. Bring your knees up as high as you can, bring them into your chest. If you need to have a rest between a jump, that's fine. You've just got to complete 10 tuck jumps. It's now 30 seconds rest. I think that was 10 anyway. So question one for week four. We're going to look at what short-term effects of exercise has that happens straight away. So can you name any short-term effects of exercise? So thinking about when you're exercising, what happens straight away as soon as you finish exercising or while you're exercising? Can you think of any effects that happen straight away? Got five seconds left, and we're moving into calf raises. And go. So it's 15 calf raises. When you're doing your calf raises, you have to balance at the top. Try and hold it for a couple of seconds, and then back down. So all you're doing is coming up onto your toes, hold it for a couple of seconds, and back down. Good posture there, guys. Keep it going. Nice, balanced, slow movements. After we finish the calf raises, there's going to be another 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to go to 10 jumping jacks. Now there is a difference between jumping jacks and star jumps. So if you do struggle with the jumping jacks, you can just do 10 star jumps instead. While Mr. Brown and Mr. Jardine are doing the jumping jacks, I will read out question two for you. We've got 10 seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. So question two, long-term effects of exercise. What are the long-term effects of exercise that can occur after months of regular training? Can you name any of the long-term effects? 
So we trained regularly, maybe three times a week for half an hour to an hour at a time. What would you expect to happen to your body? 30 seconds rest now, it's going to be into 20 press-ups. Now remember, we said there's two versions of the press-ups. You can do them on your knees, or you can do them with only your hands and your feet on the floor. So it's up to you which ones you prefer to do. You can even do half and half, maybe 10 to start with. If you're struggling, drop onto your knees. So Mr. Brown seems to be struggling a little bit here. Maybe one too many takeaways. Five seconds, guys. There's two different angles here for you, so you ready? Go, 20 press ups. You can see from Mr. Jardine, the front on there, he's going down to about a size of an apple off the ground. You can see Mr. Brown there, side on, keeping his back nice and straight, nice steady movement. Body should be like a plank. While the teachers are doing that, we'll go through question three. Our body temperature increases as we start to exercise. How do we get rid of the excess heat out of our body? So as we're getting warm, how does our body get rid of this excess heat so we, we don't overheat? 30 seconds rest now. We'll move on to the final exercise of the five activity circuit. So 10 seconds and now it's a half sit up. So the half sit up, your hands are going just up to your knees, maybe just slightly over the edge, but you're not doing a full sit up. Three, two, one, go. So 20 half sits. And question four, what might happen to our body shape with long term training? So if we trained over a period of time of say three, six months, and we trained on a regular basis, what would we expect to happen to our body shape? Uh, there's two main answers to this question. That's excellent that, keep going. If you do start to tire during these exercises, you can take a little break. Maybe just give yourself five seconds, try and get another one out. <laughs> Mr. Brown's showing his age there, he's starting to get a sore back, but he's completed them, he's done them all. Now, with this workout, you can then repeat this whole workout once, twice, three times, four times, five times, as many times as you like, and the final thing you'll finish on after you've done as many sets as you'd like, will be a 30 second plank. Now we're gonna plank every other week so far. Uh, remember we need to keep our back straight, make sure our bottoms aren't pushing up into the air. So five seconds guys, you're into your plank. And go. So you can see both teachers there with it. Great posture, keeping their backs nice and straight on their forearms. The only thing touching the floor is your forearm and your toes. The rest of your body should be off the floor, keeping your back as straight as you can. Just to recap the questions quickly, question one was, can we name any short-term effects of exercise? Question two was, uh, can you name any long-term effects of exercise? Question three, our body temperature increases as you start to exercise. How do we get rid of the excess heat? And question four, what might happen to our body shape with long-term training? And that's gone over 30 seconds. Well done, guys. Excellent workout again. You just need to cool down now. So when you're ready, just doing some gentle static stretches. So we're not bouncing as Mr. Brown spoke about last week. We don't bounce in our stretches. We keep them static and maybe a light jog on the spot. You just stretch wherever you feel tight. If you tighten to your hamstrings, target the hamstrings more than you would the quadriceps. Same with the upper body. If you're struggling on the upper body, then stretch your arms, hips, chest off. See Mr. Brown there using his ear to help with his balance. And he's into a gentle little jog now. Another 10 seconds. A 
And that's fantastic. I hope you enjoy week four's workout.